My style is based on my mood. So if I wake up feeling like a unicorn, I'ma look like a unicorn. If I wake up feeling like I wanna kill somebody, I'ma look like I wanna kill somebody. If you see me at home, most of the time I just got a bunion on, and that's usually how I feel, like a bitch with a bunion on. <laughs> Okay, well, hello, my name is Baby Mother. So this is an era that I'm in right now where I just got finished creating my album and the name of the album is Christine and it's very dark. I'm channeling this bitch, Christine. She's a murderer. I've always been like a thrifter because first of all, I'm broke as hell. And I even worked at the thrift store for a little bit and I would like hide shit so that other customers could get. I would be in there racking up on them fucking old ass jeans. I really love like grandmama baby doll ass dresses. It kind of reminds me of like Courtney Love, like that era of like, grunge music where bitches used to wear like these little girly ass dresses with like these kind of like boots and shit and then i got this because this shit is just very cute like this is sexy this is this is pta meeting this is going to fucking on a date or something i don't know i like this this is very great and then i got this because i'm silly before i even cared about like rapping i've always liked to write and i've always liked fashion design, I actually went to school for fashion design. I've always fucked with the thrift store and I would bring shit home to my sewing machines. I had a boutique and everything, yeah. Well, it was an online boutique. I just started like ordering clothes wholesale and seeing what would happen and people was buying the shit, but it just became too much because I was doing it by myself. I do get inspired a lot by like Khalees, like people like Jimi Hendrix and then like people like, this is not even like a person to be inspired by for real, but like the Tilly Tubbies, like I just, <laughs> I just like what I like. It's cool that I'm like progressing and like getting somewhere with this shit, but also it's just like, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> Motherfuckers will get on the internet and like I'm very open and I'm very transparent about everything. So people will talk to me like they fucking know me or like they live next door to me or they my auntie or I'm their little sister or something. And I get really tired of that. Like I was homeless the whole like time I was pregnant with my baby twins. And nobody gave a fuck. When I finally got back into a situation where I wasn't homeless anymore, like I just kind of got like bombarded with a shit ton of responsibility because my granny was sick and I had to take care of her. I kind of have to have fuck shit going on in my life to even be able to tap into my creativity. Like I was saying, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to rap when my life is finally like plateaued out and like good. Cause all of this, all of this shit is like just me channeling all the fuck shit into art. <laughs>